Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here. So, Marvel Comics, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been doing a lot of production stuff recently with casting. Uh, we know about Ghost Rider, but one of the characters is the director. And this person will be taking over for Phil Coulson in regards to leading S.H.I.E.L.D. in the next season. We just don't know anything about him. We, all we know is that this guy is called the director, and he's played by Jason O'Mara. Uh, a lot of people probably know him. He voiced Batman in a few projects. But the thing that's interesting about him, about not that Jason O'Mara specifically about his character, the director, besides the fact that he's just called the director, is that people are saying his character goes way back in Marvel publication, possibly timely comics uh, kind of far back. And really the only character that fits that with ties to S.H.I.E.L.D., the possibility of you know tying well into a life model decoy storyline, which they're pursuing next season, the only character that fits that is Jim Hammond. Uh, if you don't know who that is, by the way, he's the original Human Torch, the OG Human Torch, the Android Human Torch, the synthetic organism. He actually had a brief cameo, a uh, kind of Easter egg in Captain America: The First Avenger. This is this would be huge. Um, it'd be a huge fan service if they were to do this, but also be really cool to see this character because he's he's kind of been pushed in the background. And seeing as he's the original Human Torch before Johnny Storm and the whole rights issue with Johnny Storm and stuff like that, this could be a real middle finger to Fox, possibly from Marvel, uh, because you can't keep them from using this character. He came decades before Johnny Storm. Uh, so it'd be really funny hearing him be called the Human Torch on live action and it not be Johnny Storm. Uh, that'd just be really funny. I'd love to see them make a Fantastic Four joke uh, with that. But, like, how do you guys feel about this? Because it makes a lot of sense uh, from what we know so far and also with the plot lines going forward. It would make a lot of sense going forward uh, with this season. However, the only negative is the fact that we already have Ghost Rider and we've already seen Hellfire and he's not dead yet. So this may be too many fire-based, you know, heroes in regards to their special effects. I mean, just, that's just me personally. I like to see more diversity, um, you know, with my special effects. I just don't want to see everybody powered just being like basically Quake. He was basically a discount shocker in regards to her effects. I'd rather not see that and then just everybody else has fire-based like powers. I mean, I feel like that just kind of gets, it'd be overused really quickly. And you can only do so much with that without it, you know, coming off as just like, you know, lazy. So comment below with what you guys think. I'm per I'm personally excited if they were to do this. I'd be extremely excited. I can easily see them doing a twist mid-season, like a plot twist, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. loves doing a mid-season plot twist. So I'd love seeing, I'd, I could see them doing a plot twist where it's just like the director's revealed to be Jim Hammond. And the reason why he's the new director is because he wanted to keep a close eye on this new life model decoy project S.H.I.E.L.D.'s doing and all this other stuff. And then... I can see the first half of the season being really Ghost Rider centric and then the second half of the season being very life model decoy centric with Jim Hammond. So comment below with your guys' thoughts and I'll see you guys later.